Welcome back friends. In this series of video tutorials, we are talking about cell cycle control and the regulation of cell cycle. In the first video, we talked about the big picture about cell cycle regulation. If you haven't seen that video yet, please watch that video because that video is going to give you the overview of cell cycle control. You can watch that video by clicking the link in the description. Okay, so once you watch that, then watch this video, it will make much more sense. Otherwise, this video we are going to talk about the cell cycle checkpoints. Okay, so we'll be talking about checkpoints. And we talked about what is checkpoint, right? Cell cycle checkpoints are more of a quality assurance points. They are a time spot in during the cell cycle. Right? We know when we talk about cell cycle regulation and control, we mostly talk about the cell cycle means the mitotic cell cycle. In the mitosis cell cycle, there are two major events, interphase and metaphase. Uh, interphase and the, and the mitotic phase, not metaphase. Interphase means the starting phase or preparatory phase and then the M phase. M phase consists of prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Now, this M phase is the phase where the cell actually divides, while the rest of the time in the interface, the cell will prepare for the cell division. And believe it or not, cell preparation is more important than the execution and the division itself. Because if the cell is not prepared properly, then the cell will never be allowed for a division of the cell. Okay. Now, if I talk here, if I, if I draw the image of cell cycle here, this is the say this is the interface this whole part this is interface and this is the met, uh, this is the m phase okay m phase and this is interface uh, the whole interface is much longer in time than compared with the m phase because the preparation is much much big now in this case we have metaphase anaphase telophase and all those Right, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, and stuff. Okay, but the rest of the thing is the interface. Now, here, what are checkpoints? As I've told you, checkpoints are specific time points during the cell cycle where the cell, at the time when the cell decides whether the cell will go for cell division or not. Different times points when they check whether everything is okay inside the cell or not. That means whether the cell cytoplasm is to nucleus ratio is fine for a cell division or not, whether all the proteins for the cell growth is there or not, whether the number of nucleot whether number of chromosomes are properly placed or not. They need to know all this stuff. Okay? And also whether the chromosomes are okay or not, whether the DNA is perfectly fine or not. If the DNA is damaged, then they will not continue the cell cycle. If there are no synthesis of the DNA, they will not proceed for cell cycle. So, these checkpoints are the timestamp for the decision making of a cell, whether they will divide or not. Just like you go through a road and you hit a specific point, then you need to decide if you had your identity card, then only the, the toll will open and the door will open, then only you can pass through that do door, otherwise not. So, they have the specific points during the cell division. Now, in the interphase also, we can divide it into three different parts, G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase. G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase in the interphase. Okay. Now, this interphase moments, G1 and G2 is responsible for the preparation of accessory proteins. Those help in the replication, transcription and all the stuff because replication is required. Because you know, in mitosis, what, what will happen? From a mother cell, daughters will receive same number of copies of the chromosome. So, in the mother cell, they need to duplicate the number of chromosome content, right? So, here in the G1 phase, they will prepare the proteins, all the enzymes and proteins that are ne necessary for the cell, uh, uh, the replication to happen or the DNA, DNA duplication to happen. So, once all the proteins are found, then only they will go through the S phase, where in the S phase, the actual replication of DNA takes place. When the replication is done properly, then only they will be passed to the G2 phase, where in the G2 phase, they will prepare some more proteins, accessory proteins, which will help them to guide through the cell next stages of cell cycle, as well as they will make some RNAs, which are important to make proteins, right? 
So these are the three important stages for the synthesis of DNA, RNA and protein. This is the interface. While in the other M phase region is not going for any protein synthesis and stuff. M phase is required mainly for the cell to divide. That means alignment of the chromosome, alignment of the chromatids, separation of the chromatids and then cytokinesis stage to occur. Then separation of the uh, cytoplasmic content and two different daughter cell production. So these are the overall view of the mitotic cell cycle. Now the checkpoints are the timestamp as I told you. So the timestamp is placed, one is placed here. Between G1 and S there is a timestamp, timestamp number 1. There is another timestamp between S and G2, timestamp number 2. And there is another timestamp between this metaphase and anaphase, timestamp number 3. These are the three different major timestamps that we find in the cell cycle and these are called three major checkpoints in the cell cycle. Okay? Now in each of those points, the cell will check whether certain things inside the cell are okay or not. If they are okay, then only they will proceed and divide. If that is not, they will not proceed, no cell division. Okay? So let us begin at the first point between G1 and S. I told you G1 is the stage where they will check whether the cytoplasm is to nucleus ratio okay or not because the cell only divides if the cytoplasm and nucleus ratio changes. There is a specific ratio between a cytoplasmic content with a nucleus. If the cytoplasmic content goes bigger and bigger with the same nuclear content the same, then obviously the cell will try to divide to compensate that. Okay. They will check that here as well as they need to produce the proteins for the DNA replication which is about to happen in the S phase of the interface. Okay? So here in this case they will check for all this. Once everything is fine then only they will pass the cell to the next phase that is the S phase. Okay? So this is one, the first checkpoint. At this checkpoint they will check the cytoplasm to nucleus ratio and if they have all the enzymes for replication of the DNA. Okay? That is what they check in this first checkpoint. If everything is fine, then they will pass to the next one. Okay? The second checkpoint, the checkpoint number 2, it is between the S and G2. You know what happens in the S phase, in the interface? S phase DNA replication take place. So here after this S phase we will have two copies of every DNA, two copies of the gene, right? So now after right passing the S phase, enter into the G2 phase, there is a checkpoint, we call it SG2 checkpoint and in this checkpoint they will check whether proper replication happened or not, right? Let's say there are some problem during the replication and as a result some part of the chromosome did not replicate properly. So if there are those things happen here, if complete duplication uh, has halted or have any problem, then the cell will halt in this S phase and try to fix that in the S phase. Because you know DNA replication errors are simple, they can have a mutation or it can, can, can incorporate wrong nucleotides or bases or it may be degraded or broken down due to some issues. These things may happen here. So any of these things if happen here which is a kind of big impact causing a thing, then the cell will stop the cell division. So they will arrest the cell at that previous stage only. Okay? Every cases, if they find everything is okay, they will pass the cell to the next stage. But if they don't find things okay, then, then they will arrest that cell in that specific phase only. So here they will arrest, arrest the cell in the S phase. They will not allow the cell to pass to the G2 phase. So M phase will not take place. Okay? So the, this will to check whether the replication occurred properly or not okay now the third one now the third checkpoint third checkpoint is between metaphase and anaphase this is very very all important also in the metaphase what happens the the chromatids they start to align at the center of the cell 
So they will be aligned at the center of the cell just like this. If this is a cell and the chromosomes I draw, this is how they will align. Microtubule assembly centers are placed on the distance poles. So they will create microtubule which will hold on to those chromatids and they will start dragging the chromatids towards themselves and then the cell cytokinesis will take place daughter cells will separate that is the idea okay now imagine if this metaphase arrangement is not done properly if microtubules are not assembled properly with the kinato core of the sister chromatids then what will happen proper segregation will not take place and if proper segregation is not done in that case the daughter cells some of them will receive more number of chromosomes with compared with normal some will receive less number of chromosome compared with normal and one chromosome extra or less can eventually kill that organism or if not killing then obviously it will lead to a dangerous effect to that organism it will cause a whole mutation kind of thing so they don't allow this at any cost so to prevent that thing, they want to make sure that all the chromosomes are aligned properly and all the microtubules are properly attached to the kinato core of the chromosomes. And if they find these things okay, then only they will pass through this final checkpoint we call as M phase checkpoint. And they will pass through the checkpoint, then the anaphase will happen, the cytokinesis will happen, the cell division will be completed. Right? So here at this third point, they will check for this is M phase checkpoint. They will check for proper alignment and microtubule assembly. Okay, these are the three different major checkpoints that we see. Now, the first checkpoint is known as G1S checkpoint, second one known as SG2 checkpoint, third one is M phase checkpoint or mitotic phase checkpoint. Now remember if everything is wrong in each checkpoint they will pause it in that stage like if this wrong is here S to G2 they will arrest the cell in the S phase and again they will try to repair the DNA there then if the DNA repair completes successfully then they will pass it to the next phase and if it's not done successfully then we will recruit some other proteins and P53 is there will recruit some other proteins which will go and tell the cell that you, you have done something horrible you don't have the right to live. So they will kill that cell. It is an auto killing machine. We know it as an apoptosis or programmed cell death. Okay. So if repair is failed, but they first try to repair the thing. Now in this case, in this M phase, if, if, if there is any wrong thing, if there is any problem, they will hold that to the metaphase and try to fix those things, try to fix the problem, try to fix the mic. Uh, microtubules and assemble them properly if again everything happens wrong again the same thing either try to repair or kill the cell now in this case between g1 and s phase if they don't find the cell even ready to go and divide in that case they have a time because nothing i mean most of the part is not started yet at this particular phase of g1 so if they don't find that the cell is okay to go for replication and division they will promptly put the cell into a hold condition just like kind of a hibernation right so they will put the cell in kind of hold that means the cell metabolic pathways will be very slow and then they'll, they'll try to repair so much of things but they, they will not go for cell division for some time and that is known as a g0 phase G0 phase is somewhere placed between this G1 and S, particularly this area. They will put into the G0 and in the G0 phase is everything is fixed and everything will work properly. When they test everything is fine, then they will promptly back this phase to the S phase and then rest of the thing will go on and on. So this is a very systematic way of how the cell cycle is working and if I put an arrow, I can put it clockwise direction. This is how these things are going on. Okay, so this is how it's go, it, it goes on like a cell cycle checkpoints. That's why these checkpoints are super important and you need to deal with the checkpoints and you need to learn about the checkpoints before understanding because you know in those checkpoints now two types of signal if so, everything is okay a positive one from these are coming from cyclins and CDKs and there's wrong things going, going on negative signal coming from P53. So here you know for the positive signals coming from cyclines. CDK 
from the negative kind of signal is coming on from p53 p21 these are the proteins okay so once you know the checkpoints now you know this is the decision making point now it depends on the situation which decision you want to take if you want to take positive decision you need to go for cyclone cdk's help if it's a negative decision you need to go for p53's help so in the next video again we are going to talk about the cyclines and cdk's and how the positive signal is taken and then also we'll be talking about p53 p21 and how the positive signal is taken okay so that's kind of it guys i hope this video helps you if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that thank you